only on News 6 tonight, getting results at the most dangerous intersections in Volusia County. Deputies say people are getting hurt and dying in wrecks at a scary rate. It's because of an aggressive driving problem. Now they're targeting those intersections and those drivers. News 6's Eric Von Anken just got back from Volusia County. Eric, you rode along to see how deputies are getting crime results. Matt, the sheriff said that serious crashes are way up, so he asked for help. And he got it. The state gave him $50,000 to dedicate two deputies, this guy's one of them, to go after dangerous drivers at dangerous intersections all year with zero tolerance. Volusia County deputies are getting aggressive. Doing 64 and a 45. To stop aggressive drivers. Jimmy Stone is one of two patrol deputies. He drove on the wrong side of the roadway. Who are spending the entire year. 60 and a 35 right now. Only patrolling Volusia County's 33 most dangerous intersections. Tell your friends, tell your coworkers <laughs> not to speed through the area. Where 30 people died and more than 400 were seriously injured since 2014. Just this intersection alone here, which is Saxon and Enterprise in Orange City, uh, this intersection had 173 crashes over a three year period. Here, in just a matter of minutes, we witnessed red light running. Is there any reason he doesn't stop or? What was yellow? That's a $264 ticket. All right, so now we got this car here who was doing 64 and not wearing a seatbelt, which you see him playing with it now. So he'll probably have it on when I walk up there. Deputy Stone is exactly right. This, um, this wasn't working at first. Okay, well, if that, so it, but it's working now. Yeah. Two tickets totaling $282. And we spotted a speeder doing almost double the speed limit. The driver passed us and kept accelerating. 62 and a 35. That's a $281 ticket. I hate that you're in a hurry. However, you cannot be driving 62 and a 35. I wasn't even paying attention. I, I, I'm well aware of that because I was behind you with my emergency lights on trying to get you to pull over. While I am very sympathetic to that situation, um, however, that's a lot of times when accidents happen, when you're in a hurry, when you're not focused, you're not paying attention to your surroundings. And you know, that's an important point. Deputy Stone says it's not bad guys that are causing crashes and hurting people. It's mostly good people who are distracted in a hurry or careless. Red light running is especially dangerous because pedestrians could be ca crossing the street and because mm -hmm. there's so much speed involved with cars coming from different directions and a whole lot of force yeah. involved. Crazy though yes. that you can just go out there on one day and see all that of much. that. Happen. Minutes. Yeah. That happened within minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Not good or bad people, but you could certainly kill somebody. Big question yep. here, Eric, is it getting crime results? I got some numbers now. The latest numbers from the sheriff's office, they tell me that since this operation started at the beginning of the year, deputies have stopped 471 drivers. They made 18 arrests and they gave out 219 tickets for speeding so far. They think that's getting crime results. And this is the list of those 33 most dangerous intersections. I put this on clickrolando.com for everybody. Uh, very interesting. And I think when somebody does get a ticket like that, they do slow down, at least for a while. Yes. 250 bucks, that's a lot. Hurts. Make you wake that's up things. for sure. Eric, thank you. Sure.